Hello. Uh, I just feel like making a video. So yesterday I, uh, I had an interesting experience. I, uh, uh, I had my divorce trial. I had a very long, slow divorce, been stretched out. I, di I didn't try to get a divorce at first for a couple of years on purpose because I wanted to keep her on my health insurance. We've been together 20 years. And you know, it could be a big issue uh, if, we, if we talked about it. Um, I, uh, um, I, I certainly would say that being with her was uh, a, a disorder. Um, when I was 17 trying to solve things. I wanted to help her deal with her issues and I was still really dealing with my own childhood issues. And I could see quite clearly the, the, uh, the syndromes, whether they be at diagnosable levels or not, um, that uh, you know, obviously I'm going to have to explain. A lot of people um, look for the easy outs for themselves. I mean, I have some easy outs. I was trying to help her. I did. I was very responsible. I stuck by commitments and things. Um, but, you know, even though I think it did help her and me, um, if maybe it would have been quicker if we just would have broken up when we should have at 18 and, and maybe she would have figured out quicker, right? But, um, Anyway, be that as it may, it feels nice. It's a great relief. On the other hand, um, this is real life. So, you know, the little walkthrough I gave you about when I was processing drama, you know, that I could just take five minutes and go, okay, purge all that, and then that's better. I could have done that off camera. Decided to do it on. This is, this is different. This is real life, you know. Now it's gone, and there's various things. It's like it's not just the burden. There's all this remnant, okay, so my relationship's over, it changes now. Uh, okay, now I'm just left with the results of that and figuring out how to make that a positive thing, the, the elements of that a positive thing in the long run that I would at least learn from, try to not see a repeat of the same problems. I've also been thinking about doing a question video, um, uh, which is uh, just too cliche. Everybody does them. I thought about doing one where I answer all the questions with questions, or but it did occur to me that this set uh, tradition is. Um, I mean, I often just skip answer videos, so I don't have a huge um, positive feeling about that kind of video. But now I see it's like, see, to me, I felt like, why do I need a question video when anybody can ask me a question? I'm pretty sure to try to answer it. And it's because if people bring up a tangent that isn't your regular topic, um, you know, like, I'm curious what balloons color you like. You know, it just seems so out of left field. A lot of people won't do that, but you can invite them to do that. Uh, there definitely is just a general invitation for things like that, but I have to admit, you know, there's some people, if you try to ask me personal things, I'm not interested. So maybe if I make a... It's just so weird. I, I This is a personality thing right here because, I mean, I sort of like, I want to do a question video, but I just can't bring myself. It just feels too cliche. Um, so, uh, yeah, I've been thinking also of talking about, um, you know, some of the things in my childhood that confused me so much as a way. Because, you know, I, I'm just, I'm focused on... Uh, you know, how to live life. I think that's the point of philosophy. So to this, in the sense that we're all crazy, you know, philosophy is something that we could help make ourselves sane. Sort of the purpose and most interesting aspect of philosophy. Um, so, yeah, um, kind of interested in going through a couple of the other H.G. Wells things from his logical essay about negation. Um, I think it's really good. I think, uh, I think it's very interesting to, uh, to point out that you don't need a lot of training in cognitive science to get cognitive science. If you just study biology, then the ways that you have to understand a concept like species just naturally are modern because there is no classical way to understand them. Um, so that's kind of interesting. I might be going into that. Yeah, a lot of things are coming together for me. So my divorce is finally final. My car is 
almost paid off. I have less than one payment. Um, uh, accomplishing a lot at work. I, um, oh geez, there's two or three more of those kinds of things. But, um, so I feel like I'm at a threshold in my life. This is an opportunity where, you know, the things, the grudges, the, the Velcro of the past could, uh, could stick various ways. And it's sort of, uh, it's important to just, uh, you know, not try to sh flush it from my mind, but to, to remain conscious about it as these last marks come in place, the shapes, the scars, and the, the remnants, you know, is defined on, on how, how I let these, there's all these things just floating around and they're going to settle down to the bottom. It's like you can guide them and set them. But if you wait and they all settle just where they may, they'll be locked in place. So anyway, um, yeah, I just felt like making kind of a pointless video. Um, I'm curious what people think about making honest to goodness question video um, about my uh, anti-cliche personality tendency. I just, I just don't like to be. <coughs> I don't like to adopt like the websites develop these cultures and people jump in on it's like yeah and here's what we do and then I, I hate that but sometimes it's like oh well, that's actually maybe a good idea and I'm just stuck on the cusp of well yes but I'm not going to do it because people do it so um, anyway uh, 